Hello and welcome back to another video. So I'm feeling pretty ill at the moment, so I'm going to try and make this quick. So this video is going to be about Springtomize 2, more in depth. So once you've installed it, you have to go to the City of Store, just search, search for Springtomize 2 and you'll find it. And if we go into it here, so as I was saying initially, you have to turn it on, so you have to enable it. And then you have all these different categories, so you've got animations here and you can slow down, so for example, the animation between the pages there, you can actually slow down, which I don't actually particularly use, I don't think it's that great, but the thing I do use is the lock animation. So at the moment, I've got this old TV animation, so if I just lock my screen now, you'll see it, which I think is pretty cool, it's quite a subtle tweak, but again, it's nice. Okay, and then you've got also down here, screenshot flash and that sort of thing, but that's not that great. Um, capabilities, now you can turn off functionality on your actual iPhone. So first of all, you'd have to enable it. And then what you can do in here, you can actually turn off certain things. So you can turn off voice control if you don't use that. Uh, multitasking, HDR, panorama, uh, front camera, uh, SMS, all those sorts of things you can turn off. Now, I'm not going to bother with that, so I'm going to come out of here. Now this is the dock section which I find quite nice, so what you can do, you can actually change the, the way the dock looks, so if you wanted to you could turn on the uh, cover flow effect, and if we just go back and hit reload and hit respring, and now if you look at my dock you've got this nice sort of cover flow effect where the sides look like they're angled, so that's quite nice, so if we just go back into spring to Mize, back into dock, uh, we can also hide the dock if you really wanted to, hide the reflection, all that sort of thing. And you can have up to a certain amount of icons on the dock as well. Okay, so the lock screen. So in here, you can display seconds if you want to. So I turned that on, I don't know why, you can turn it off. Um, always charging, so you can have the, the sort of charging uh, image on the screen if you really wanted to. Disable the camera button, always show camera. Uh, so if we turn that on. Um, hide the top bar, we'll turn that on as well. Uh, and again, you've got loads and loads and loads of different things. I'm not going to go through them all. So if we go back and if we reload and if we respring, so as you can see, we've got the camera button showing and all of that good stuff. So I'm just going to unlock. So I'm just going to turn these off and go back. So icons, if we go in here, so we can hide the, the labels. So we'll turn that on. We can lock it so you can't move any of the icons whatsoever. I'm not going to bother turning that on. It's not that interesting. Um, disable uninstalling, so that's fairly self-explanatory. Disable all badges, uh, two-tap clear badge. Now, like I said, I think I've show, shown in my previous video, you can change the icon size if you want. You have to turn it on here. Um, or you can resize the dock icons, uh, switch your icons, and you can also hide icons. Now, this is quite handy. If you don't, like the, if you don't use the newsstand app, what's the point in having it? You can hide it here. Uh, you can hide Spring to Mize app if you really wanted to, but I don't know why you'd want to do that. Well, you could do, but it's up to you. Um, then you can do choose icons. So again, I've hidden the calculator, compass, contacts, all of that stuff, because I don't use any of it, and it gets in the way. So if we just go back, and now folders. So I haven't actually got into this one too much, so folders, close box, hide preview, disable animation, all these things in here you can actually change. Um, app switcher. So landscape switcher, you can turn that on. So Time Machine actually allows you to back up and restore your settings, but for some reason, in the latest update that I installed this morning, it doesn't work anymore, so I'm not going to bother showing you that. Uh, you've got a status bar, so if you really wanted to, you could change. I'm obviously in the UK, so I'm O2 UK, and you could change that to a default one. I don't know, I'll just put in uh, Matt. So custom times, you can do all that sort of thing. So if we go back... Reload and respring. So as you can see in the top left hand corner now, it actually says mapped instead of O2. Which is nice if you want to do that sort of thing. So if we just come down, we've got pages. So if you really wanted to, those three dots that you get on your uh, sort of home screen, you can actually remove those. Um, remove the page limit so you can have as many pages as you want. I suppose there's going to be a limit on that at some point. Uh, disable spotlight. I never use spotlight so I am going to turn that off. And that's about it. So if we go back, theming, so you can choose a custom dock, custom battery, uh, custom fonts, all these sorts of things. So like I said, there's so many things you can do with this, it's unbelievable. Notification center, instant clear, custom lines, uh, and max lines. 
list. And if you go into more, you've got documentation, which is really nice. And you've also got a, uh, the settings files. And you've also got the restore defaults. So I'm just going to go back, reload and respring. And there you go, so that's just a sort of more in-depth look at how Spring to Mize 2 works. So please feel free to subscribe for more tutorials and things like this in the future, and I'll see you all later.